Christ, our helper and our redeemer. August 4. Because fallen man could not overcome Satan with his human strength, Christ came from the royal courts of heaven to help him with his human and divine strength uh, combined. In order to bring hope to man and to save man uh, from complete ruin, uh, Christ humbled himself to take man's nature uh, that with his divine power combined with his human abilities, he might reach man right where man is. Uh, consider uh, the Bible in Romans chapter 5 and verse 19. It says, As by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one uh, shall many be made righteous. Uh, let us consider disobedience. As we look at disobedience, one must understand that if it is one thing that was given to man is the ability to choose, or in other words, the power of choice. We consider Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Uh, they decided uh, to do what they did. Uh, that was as a result of the power of choice. We consider ourselves today. Uh, we have the power to choose good over evil. We have the power to choose right over wrong. Uh, the power of choice uh, would have been given to each one of us. Uh, I want to submit to you uh, this morning that you might be wondering how to use the power of choice that God would have given to you uh, to bring honor and glory to his name. Uh, the way we use the power of choice to glorify the name of Jesus is to always choose him instead of the devil. Always choose right over a wrong. Always choose to love God uh, rather than loving man in place of God. Uh, why don't you today ask God uh, to give you that power of choice and to give you that motivation uh, to always choose him uh, over uh, the devil and to always choose good over evil. Uh, why not trust his word uh, today? Let us ask God for that power to always choose him. Why? He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer. And that's the power of his word. Uh, let us pray. Father, uh, we are happy that we have been given the power of choice. We pray, O oh God, that you would help us to always choose you over the enemy. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of his word every day will keep the enemy at bay.